All righty, all righty, welcome. Uh, it is March 26th, 2019. As you can see, we have the latest Heroes of the Storm patch notes here. Uh, so I was going to go through this a little bit, uh, just give a little update for those who haven't been able to log in yet. Uh, a lot of changes have happened. One of the big ones that I'm stoked about are these role changes. So they split out uh, tanks to be tanks and bruisers. They put some people that were in the assassin category in the bruiser area as well. Um, they split up the support and specialist into support and healer classes. And then they split the assassins into melee and ranged. So it's a little bit easier to find those instead of having to type melee or ranged in the uh, little search bar. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like they try to do some AI improvements. Uh, that's good. Um, one thing I did notice, because I did log in already, is that the warrior quest is now a tank and bruiser quest. I actually was trying to get all of my specialist quests done uh, prior to this. Um, where, if I would have waited, I would have just gotten free 300 gold. Damn. Anyway, uh, moving on. We also have a new event, which actually looks pretty cool. It's super like hacker mode type stuff, which I'm all about. Uh, not really sure how they want you to pronounce this, but Chaldeum, Chaldeum, whatever. Um, it's this futuristic sort of event. Uh, I had some friends talking about this, whether or not it was going to be like a game board, like the last event during the holidays. Uh, so far, what I found logging in, that's not the case. And it's more like... Uh, that, uh, what was that event with like the, um, Spanish themed stuff where, um, you got all sorts of different swag based on completing quests. So it's more quest based instead of getting to roll and having a board or having a map where you see progress actually happening on it. Kind of seems like an opportunity missed, but since it's, you know, a dead game anyway. I'm sure they were cutting corners to at least give us this, and I'm grateful for whatever they put out at this point, uh, considering the current posture of the game. Uh, so these are the quests here, um, and that kind of goes around in those little parts of the map that you were looking at before, um, and I'll show that as well. Uh, they made some changes on the league side, uh, league play side of things as well, so they actually... Uh, merged Hero League and Team League together instead of having them separate. So it'll be kind of interesting to see um, how this works out. Since it is a dead game, I haven't really been doing any league play, but if um, that's something that people want to do, I'm not opposed to ever playing any competitive sort of match. Uh, hero changes, uh, big ones, Lucio and Chromie. Actually, I actually haven't looked at the Lunar changes, but um, Lucio got a buff, or I'm sorry, a nerf, um, ultimately, at least in my opinion. Uh, Chromie got a rework, so she's got a higher skill cap now, um, instead of just being able to blast people to death. Uh, a lot of her moves are actually changed in how it actually works. So like Dragon's Breath, for example, that one that drops this big sand... Uh, mess on top of you and does a shit ton of damage and now it does kind of like a Gul'dan-esque uh, movement where it does three blasts in a row so we'll take a look at that as well um, not going to go through all these notes because of course you can go and check them out yourself I'm going to jump into the game and kind of check them out uh, I did want to look at this Lunara one uh, Blossom Swell uh, movement speed reduced okay nice uh, cool, and then some bug fixes. All right. Well, let's let's check this out See what we got nice. All right, so let me get back into the game Okay, so uh, let's take a look at This bundle I actually have some pretty sweet skins Look at those. I really like this kerosene skin. It's pretty badass. Oh, look at that. That's wicked. Uh, for the record, not a Butcher fan. Just because of how OP he gets. 
I love having him on my team when he's really good, of course. Um, and I know I like countering him, but man, when he gets fed, it's a nightmare. So we got a little war, war pig, cyber pig going on here. It's pretty cool. So thirty four twenty one, only thirty five dollars for the complex complete bundle, and then of course they have the individual ones. Uh, the Lucio skins were actually pretty interesting. Actually, oh, yeah. they didn't include the Lucio skins on this, did they? Oh. Oh man, how about that? Lucio getting nerfed and isn't even included in the complex bundle. Man. Looks like we got a uh, lunar event going on here. I'm missing some skins on that. Probably not worth it to me. I'm not sure I'm ever going to buy another thing in this game, to be honest with you. I haven't re-rolled a loot box. Um, and I can't tell you how long I'm in protesting. Mainly because I get duplicates all the time. And when I get a duplicate, like, I get a legendary hero duplicate. And they give me 400 shards. I can't even buy heroes with shards, bro. And an epic... Skin for a hero is like 1,600 shards. It's not balanced, man. It's not even balanced. All right, let's play a little bit. See what we got. Okay, so first one, let's check out. Well, you can see, so we got tanks, bruisers, ranged assassins, melee assassins, healers, and support. Cool. Um, <laughs> Lucio, oh, 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 these skins are only 150 shards. All right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Did they reduce the price on these shards or what? Because this is definitely more in line. Who was I looking at the other day? Uh, whose skins were just still super crazy expensive. I'm going to keep looking around, though. and see. Oh, here it is. 1,600. You kidding me? I mean, it's a badass skin, but when these other skins are 100, the, the 400, and then you jump quadrupling quadrupling man it's tuesday i gotta watch my blood pressure all right we're here to check out the patch notes so let me go um actually back out i want to do i want to try these heroes so we can check out the new stuff I'm going to see if Lucio feels any different. Well, I will say he definitely feels much slower. Very much slower. Crossfade. Yeah. So wall ride. Interesting. I thought that was supposed to be a new Z move. Oh, and look, the healing. So this used to do three. Now it's only doing two. And I believe this did between like 18 and 19. And now it's only doing 15. So definitely a buff to Lucio. Or I'm sorry, a nerf. I keep on saying buff. Um... But overall, not too bad. It'll be interesting to see how that actually affects his gameplay. So let's try out Chromie and see how different she feels. All right. Oh, okay. So this is hitting the W. And you can see the stacking. One, two, three. All right. I'm doing 203 damage, which is interesting. And they said... They decreased. Oh, I think 
this used to be a talent that you had to get. Casting Sandblast leaves behind an echo. Okay. I haven't played a whole ton of Chromie, but I thought that was a talent before. So, I want to watch this because what they did is they reduced the cast time, but also slowed the missile, but then the missile gradually gets faster. Yeah, you can definitely see it ramp up there. That's pretty cool. And then looks like you can go beyond your actual range with this new Dragon's Breath as well. Uh, so that'll uh, definitely add some additional um, little tweaks you can do to the gameplay. Oh, and then the Sandblast stops on the first hero that you hit. Still hits pretty hard. I think they did cut it in half though. So I can get down with that because it was doing like 400 base damage or something like that before. And then I believe they also said that they're reducing the amount of siege damage that that, that does. Okay, but overall still uh, still feels pretty powerful. The cooldown is definitely much, much more um, noticeable now. When I play Alex Straza, I always try and time my heals in between when I see her drop her Dragon's Breath. Uh, so actually, let me uh, select the enemy hero and I want to see a Chromie. Because the other thing I was curious about was when the enemy Chromie does her Dragon's Breath, it said it no longer puts a reticle on the ground for the enemy team. Now, I can see the reticle, but I want to see if... Yeah, no reticle. Ooh, that's going to be kind of dangerous. But I got to kill it on her, so I'm all about it. All right. Chromie feels pretty good. I'm not going to jump into Lunara just because that change is so minimal. Um, not really worth it. But let's look at uh, this event. So... As you can see, you kind of have the steps on this event. You have 21 days. Uh, so, eight murder camps. Winning uh, two games as any assassin hero. 25k XP. Two games as healer or support. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. What is that? A phrases pack? For sprays? Maybe. All right, um, 150 minions, two games as a tank of bruiser hero, Caldam complex chest, nice, achieve 50 takedowns, oh, and you can get that war bore, war bore, it's kind of a nice little name at the end of it all, so, Looks like that's the event. I didn't see, you know, anything outside of that. Um, the art looks pretty cool. But besides that, I think that's as much effort as they could really put into this event. And I'm not complaining. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I might even start playing Chromie. Seeing, uh, seeing her changes makes her a lot more dynamic. And some of these skins are pretty sweet. But... Maybe I'll just become a Karazim main because <laughs> that's pretty wicked. And my Karazim is already level 11, so... Uh, let do it. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. Um, definitely throw me a like. Uh, subscribe. You can find me on Twitch at uh, Twitch tv slash falcon 11 as of right now I'm looking into potentially changing um that handle i played as falcon my entire gaming life <laughs> since i've been like 13 my handle has been falcon um but i'm looking into potentially mixing that up a little bit or not having all these weird handles on different platforms um i'm on twitter here at uh, falcon underscore 11 and i'm trying to bring everything together 
uh, through a conglomerate that I'm uh, starting to build, Thunder Rock Gaming. Uh, it's actually an offshoot on my business, Thunder Rock, which is an IT consulting business. Uh, a lot more to come there, including some tech stuff, uh, maybe some legal stuff. I've been representing myself pro se in court a little bit here and there, and I'd love to give back to the community on some advice on how to not get railed by lawyers in the system. Uh, and then, of course, the gaming stuff. So if you like it, definitely thumbs up, subscribe, uh, follow me on all the other social medias. And hey, even uh, uh, you can subscribe on my Twitch channel as well, which helps support all the content uh, that I'll be pushing out. If you have any other requests on things you want to see, you know, hit me up in the comments, reach out to me on social media. Um, I'd love to have a conversation, make sure that I'm making stuff that's relevant and that y'all enjoy. Peace out.